Tightype.com presents... There have been some incredible games through the years, with great stories and great endings. Then, there's the bad game endings. It doesn't matter if a game is very fun, very popular, or cost four million dollars to make. In the end, some game endings are just... bad. Now for the ground rules. Each game on this list has to have at least tried to tell a story. So no, complaints about the endings to games that didn't have a story don't count. Keep in mind, this isn't a worst games list. Sure, there have been bad games with bad stories, though each of these games looked really good and had great stories, yet the ending was awful. That's what makes a worst game ending. The last rule, each game has to have been five years old or more, so people worried about me spoiling the ending of games they're playing right now can rest easy. I'm Steve for Tech Tight's Top 10 Worst Game Endings. Number 10. We start this list with a jump back to 1984, when most video games looked like this, and most computers looked like this. In the early 1980s, if you had a color monitor for your computer, you were a happening guy. Most computers were stuck with green monitors. Green! Years before Legend of Zelda, anyone who wanted a story in their game looked to one place, Infocom. They released dozens of text adventure hits. And then there was Infidel. Leave it to the pioneers of adventure game stories to invent the first bad game ending. In Infidel, your character was like Indiana Jones, only not as cool. You are supposedly a bad guy because you want to find buried treasure. Who doesn't? So your character digs to the center of an ancient tomb while the ceiling gives away, killing him. Adding salt to the wound, the game tells you to look at the bright side. Maybe someday your own remains will be worth something someday. The same can be said for Infidel. Maybe someday someone will dig up this game and it will be worth something. Though... I doubt it. Number nine. You've heard it before and you'll hear it many times again. Halo 2 was hugely popular online, though its single player story had a little problem with the ending. There wasn't one. It's true enough that many games before Halo 2 had open endings. However, most of those games were just bad. The makers of Halo should have known better. It's bad enough that one of the final battles is with some alien reject from Super Monkey Ball. So, how does the game end? By Master Chief insisting he's going to finish the fight. Then the screen fades to black and the truth sets in. Master Chief will finish the fight in Halo 3. In the end, the only reward for playing Halo 2's single player story mode was the countless hours on message boards defending it. Number eight. What made Diablo so much fun? Well, fortunately, it wasn't the story. This game's best feature was how each time you started a new game, a new maze was created. Every time you played the game, the game was totally different. Yet the ending was the same. For some reason, your character is an idiot. No, that's too kind. An idiot would try to fight a demon the size of a house and hope to win. A major idiot would defeat the demon, grab the evil stone he leaves behind, then hit himself in the head with it. The idea is this rock is evil and must be kept from evil hands. So basically the hero thinks, I need to hide this rock. I know. I'll hide it in my head. Ouch. Say what you will about the stupidest character you ever saw in a game, Nothing comes close to stabbing yourself in the head with a rock. Adding insult to injury, no pun intended, this idiot returns in Diablo 2 as the main bad guy. So the hero in Diablo defeated the bad guy so he could be the bad guy? Whatever. Number seven. If you owned any game system in 2003, you had a chance to play 13. If you didn't, don't bother. Six years later, I can remember two things about this game. 
its graphics that made it look like a giant comic book, and its bad ending. The idea was that Agent 13 lost his memory after someone tried to kill him. You have to help him remember who tried to kill him before it's too late. How are you feeling? Still no memory? So, here's how the story ends. Can you see him? Who's number one? Tell me, quick! The good news, you know who tried to kill you. The bad news, he's standing right next to you. Are the fireworks not to your liking, Mr. Fly? The end. How likely is it that your character survives? Let's be honest, Agent 13 is dead. That's a shame, because up to this ending, 13 was a pretty fun game. Though with an ending this bad, what's the point of playing it? Number six. People are in pain. They're dying. Yes. Do something. As we reach the midpoint of this list, it's important to remind people this is not a worst games list. Consider the adventure game of Light and Darkness, with graphics designed by a renowned artist, puzzles designed by a critically acclaimed game designer, and voice acting by Lolita Davidovich and James Woods. It also had an intriguing story, where every 1,000 years, Earth must be redeemed in order to avoid the apocalypse. It is up to you to save the world by identifying and capturing the ghosts of all the villains of the past 1,000 years. All of that sounds like an intriguing game, right? Right! It was a very good game! Except for the ending. Game endings like this can be summarized in one single word. Huh? This is one of those game endings that you can't really narrate or explain. It's best that I just show it to you and let you consider a possible explanation for yourself. And not chariots of light nor darkness shall carry the day, but each to fair measure result. The game ending continues with a shot of an unmanned space probe reaching the moons of Jupiter. And this happens. Yeah, I don't get it either. In the end of Light and Darkness was a fun game with only one glaring flaw. It's ending. How important was this flaw? Well, ask yourself, have you ever heard of this game? Well, that's it for part one of this YouTube video. Be sure to check for part two for the rest of the list. Or look at the original article at techtite.com, now celebrating 10 years online.